Yo, what's good YouTube? It's all day 0511 back at y'all with another video. I'm really gonna keep this video short, simple, straight to the point, man. If you guys know this, you guys know I created started doing YouTube online 2014. Uh started out on the last gen PS3 era and was basically like the I guess you could say like the voice for the community. We did a lot of videos on contacting 2K support, trying to figure out like what was the game gonna be like, why they kept selling us the same fabricated game basically just with a different cover athlete on it and uh, man basically bro YouTube got killed when 2k became trash bro and I think I can speak for a lot of content creators when I say this man when you're talking about a video game company that started out so hot bro like the downfall of 2k is fucking crazy bro because the company started out so hot especially for content creators when you have a video game, you want the game to be able to be marketable. And by being able to be marketable, is by being people being able to play the game and make videos. On. Like, there's no real content to be made on 2K. And it's not like, oh, yeah, it's the same basketball game over and over again. The issue with 2K is that there's no competitive edge in the game no more. 2K was a game that was well known or highly, when the game was at its peak, was when we had affiliations. Now, I, I don't really know how affiliations work now. I feel like affiliations now in the game will be even bigger than what it was before. And the reason being is because you got like a lot of these guys now on YouTube, for example, with these IRL basketball videos that kind of came back. If you guys remember IRL basketball videos kind of died off. Now they're kind of back again because you got like, uh, if you guys watch Nick Briz or um, Chris White and then, you know, you got the two hype dudes out there on the West Coast and they got the West Coast ballers, East Coast ballers. Like the affiliation for Parks is back again, man. And you got Trace McGrady, can't forget about him starting his own league, man. So I feel like affiliations is back, but in an IRL standpoint. And 2K hasn't been a good game since then. We took out the whole... There's no reason to have a park when literally none of the games have any type of value. Or they don't hold any type of weight because it's like, okay, we're just playing 2K at this point, bro. Like, literally, in this gameplay, I'm just literally in park, just running. That's it. Like, what do I get from this game? Yeah, you have a rep system, and the rep system is okay. There's nothing really, I don't really have anything going on the rep system, but that'd be a totally different video. This video is strictly about park affiliations. But there's no calculator. There's no, like, real thing I'm getting from playing park. There's nothing I'm getting from, like, none of the game modes have any type of value or any, any type of, it doesn't matter, basically. Like, park doesn't matter. Rec doesn't matter. Pro-Am, you could say matters, but to a certain extent, pro -Am also doesn't really matter because now everything's just matchup or private matchups. Like, you know what I mean? You have different leagues and stuff, but like going into pro, like it doesn't matter anymore. Like 2K took away the hype of games having meaning behind it. That's the word I'm looking for, meaning. There is no meaning in any of these games that you play in part. There is no meaning of having a 70% win percent in 2K. If you have a 70% win percent, you think that that means something in life? It doesn't, bro. You're not going to be able to buy a house with that. Your credit score still sucks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like there's no meaning in the game. So when you took out the meaningful and the meaningness in the game and now you put in with these basically just like it's, it's basically just time consuming. That's all it is. Like playing park it's like, bro, do you really feel like playing park? And you can play park for a few hours and you might have fun, but you be like, "Damn, bro, like I really could have did something that was more beneficial to myself in these 2 hours." And to come here and play park because you have nothing to show for it. You have nothing to show for playing park. That's why the neighborhoods are dead. I have never understood the reason why 2K took it out. Uh, and the community asked for it, man. Like, it's not like nobody hasn't asked for it. People asked for this shit for years. And they have never brought this game back. They never brought that mode back. And I never understood why do you get rid of park affiliation. Like I said, there's no meaning in the game. Like, this gameplay that I'm showing in the background has no meaning. Like, what, what am I gaining out of this? Like, yeah, we won. Don't get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Your, your boy out here, man, he still play somewhat competitively. But there is no meaning. And when you have no meaning in the game, there's no, re there's like, there's no real thing to upload. Like, that shit used to be cool as hell, man. Being a YouTuber and having somebody from Sunset pull up on me in Rivet. Or me pulling up the Rivet to Sunset, man. Like, the the... The video ideas or the, the title ideas, man, like it was interactive. It was a fun year, fun games. Like I can literally show analytics. Analytic wise, bro, probably the best anybody's done when it comes to video games. Like nobody plays 2K22 and it really doesn't have anything to do with 22. There's just no meaning in the game. The game actually isn't that bad in my opinion. Like don't get, actually let me stop. The game was shitty when it came out. But I feel like with the recent updates they've done, they, the game is actually more playable now than what it was before. Like, the contest is stupid, interior defense is ass, but 
that doesn't really take away from the game. Like the game could have been asked like this, but like there is no competitive edge in this game. Like they literally put pie charts in. It was like, oh yeah, we're gonna bring pie charts in. Or you can make your own play. Nobody's not gonna do that, bro. 2K is literally a copy and paste community. They're gonna do whatever works best. Same way with offenses. Same way how everybody used to run that five out offense on what was that? 2K 18 or 2K 19, 21 and two five out offense was the thing. Nobody's running five out offense until they seen competitive people doing it. We took out the competitive edge of the game. Not a game of shit. And they're trying to figure out other ways of bringing it back. When you know what you need to do to bring it back, there's no meaning to the games. Like I said, I know I didn't say this word a million times, bro. And I really, I apologize for using that word so much. But like, it, it's simple as that, bro. With no part, without parts or without any type of reward system or reward for playing the game. You're not getting anything. Like I'm not even talking. Like I haven't even went in any depth in depth of what all the other issues are with the game. But I'm just talking about the main issue, which is that there's no real reason to play the game. Like, what is your reason to buying 2K23? Ask yourself that question. What is your reason to buying NBA 2K23? Serious question. You, what, what, what is it? You gonna buy because you want to make a new player, or you gonna buy because you want to see what the game looks like, or you, what is it? Because if you're saying you buying it because you want to be top rep next year, that, like, that's stupid as hell. Because everybody can be a level 40. It's not hard being level 40. All you people here, legend, I ain't even getting a free game this year. You niggas are still finna pay $80 next year to get this shitty ass game. Oh, hopefully not to be shitty. I don't want to speak that in the air, but you know what I'm saying? But you, you guys get what I'm saying, though, man. Like there, There is no real reason to buy the game, but we're going to keep buying the game because, you know, just as a basketball fan, man, you just... You kind of have to buy the game. It's like, bro, what are you going to do? Play 2K22? No. At least you get updated rosters. But, anyways, man. Like I said, I didn't really want this video to be nothing crazy. The video ain't really nothing crazy. I just really wanted to speak about what it was and, like, also kind of give a little insight. Like, people ask, well, you know, why you give up on YouTube? Why you stop doing it? it there was no real, re like, there was no meaning in editing those videos. Like, I was editing these videos and I was like, bro, what am I editing? Like, it's not like, oh, this was, a, like, yeah, these games are competitive. Some of these games are competitive, but, bro, that shit don't mean nothing at the end of the day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shoot, you, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's different when you have competitiveness and it's something on the line. When you're going to different people's parks and you were earning, like, abilities to unlock new parks and stuff like we did in 2K17. Man, River, we won it all, man. So, like I said, I didn't want this video to be nothing crazy. It is nothing crazy. It's really simple, really sweet. But... 2K sucks. If you play 2K22 and you've been playing 2K all these years, you probably should look to get in a relationship. You probably are in a relationship. Probably been committed long term, man. Cause ain't no way in hell you've been able to play this game and say that you've been able to have fun. There's a different levels of having fun and having competitiveness. And competitive is what's gonna drive everybody to be the best. When you put game when you put stuff in here like this and you think that you're gonna allow people to create their own narrative or create their own players like how they try to do, which wasn't a bad idea, man. It really wasn't. It's just that this is a copy and paste community. People copy each other. They've always been like that. Nothing's ever changed. Same way with jump shots. It's like jump shots, bro. Everybody, everybody used to sit there and wait for whoever posted the best jump shot. Remember, YouTubers just literally be like, bro, I'm not telling y'all my jump shot, bro. Hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. And like, we literally be like, give me to 100K. And people would subscribe to get somebody to 100K so they could see what their jump shot was. So, like I said, man, to, to think that by adding, allowing people to create their own players and the put their own attributes on them and to think that you were going to get a more diverse playing field, bro, it just really didn't matter. Especially when all the stats don't matter. You feel me? Like, every stat don't matter. But, like I said, that's a different video for a whole different different day. And, uh, hey, man, basically, this is it, man. It's your boy, all day 0511. I'm out.